Gbolt here with a, a quick video on a new item that I swapped out. Uh, I started off with a Snow Peak Hybrid Summit Solo cook set um, that I matched up with the Caldera Cone alcohol stove and had been using that for quite a while. Never used the alcohol stove, but but was planning to to make that my cook set on the AT. And then after watching quite a few videos of people coming off the AT and asking some questions, mainly of Darwin, if you ever see his videos, um, asked him about the ease of getting canisters versus alcohol stoves. And really, I think the tendency is switching over and rolling over to the alcohol stoves, which I'm used to. I've got a micro rocket on top of a canister, a fuel canister. So I was looking to make the change anyway, thinking that alcohol was the way to go, but knowing that if I ever do the PCT, uh, I'm going to have to switch out anyway, and then I just decided why even mess with the alcohol. Um, I like the canister. It's quick. It's easy. I'm used to it. I have been doing it for years, so I decided to swap out that cook set and sell them. Not that the Hybrid Summit Solo was a bad canister or a bad pot, a bad system, but the fact that they came together and you match them up, so in order to sell the Caldera Cone, it was easier to just sell the whole unit, the pot, with the whole unit, and so that's what I did on, on uh, whiteblaze.com. So then I turned around and I started investigating and uh, was going to replace with the uh, Snow Peak Trekker 700 ml. Um, again, Darwin mentioned that and, and had a video on that. So I was set to go there, but then I thought, you know, occasionally it would be nice just to not use a canister stove, take advantage of an open fire. Um, and so I started looking for a bail handle to put on the uh, Snow Peak. And after looking at DIY, products and looking at it, I could make it work with that. I thought, why am I doing that? Tokes puts out a nice 750 milliliter pot with a bale handle and a lid combination. And so that's what I settled on. I moved away from Snow Peak that I had never had any issues with and decided to give Tokes a, a try. So came in the mail today and that's what I'm going to do. Going to do an opening sample of this Tokes titanium pot with bale handle. It's a nice small package. It shipped within a few days. So no real issues. You can track it, you can follow it, and see exactly where it's coming from. Nice Tokes box. First class U.S. mail. Here are the shipping instructions, which I maintain and keep a record of so that I know overall cost gear list. And there it is. Nothing too fancy. It's got the orange cover, little Tokes tag on it. Take it out. Weighs 4.7. And so there's the bale handle. There's the regular handles. Nice Tokes emblem on the side. Um, probably hard to read, but there are graduated measurements here. Um, and the Snow Peak did not have that. Now the Snow Peak Trekker 700 did have it. But my Snow Peak Hybrid Summit did not have it, so I bought a little coffee cup that measures. But this will be nice because you don't have to two-step it. Um, I still take the collapsible Sea to Summit collapsible mug because I like drinking coffee out of that rubber silicone cup better than worry about you know burning my lips on this. But who knows when I do my through hike? Ultimately, when I do it, the cup may be sent home because I don't need it as a lid. I don't need it for anything else. But then again, I'll probably start out with it. I really like to pour water and cook food and then pour my coffee and make my coffee in that rubber cup. And then the food can go back in here and I uh, don't need to use this. I can still use that. So we'll wait and see. One of the things I really liked about this, this 
cup lid is that it does vent, which the other one didn't. But I really like this little feature. You can clip it over and it stays locked in an up position. So you can grab it and lift it off and it won't collapse on you. Or you slide it back the other way and boom, it folds down. So when you're carrying it, it can fold down. But when you want to actually cook with it, you can lock it in the upward position. And, uh, and I really like that. I think that's a, a, a nifty little feature. Um, the bail handle, I'm worried about thickness and weight and excess weight, but this thing is light. It's titanium. Uh, that bail handle may be the, tight, the tightest part of it. Um, the nice thing about it is that if I ever do decide that I don't want the bail handle, I can always take the bail handle off and then I'm just paying for two little clips. You know, you got two little clips that you hadn't had before. Um, so that's part of the reason why I went with the bail handle. And the bail handle was about a $4 difference. This was $38.99 plus shipping. And the one without the bail handle, you can get $34.99. So difference of $4. Um, I, I want it because I want to be able to put it over a fire and have a little bit of versatility with it, um, yet still use it the way I mainly use it on top of a canister stove. And I probably could have kept the alcohol stove, the caldera cone, probably would have worked with it. The next thing I do is I will have to make a cozy for it. I made a cozy for the other one, but that was thrown in to sweeten the deal for the person that got that. Um, and I think they were excited with their purchase. I'm happy and excited with my purchase. So there's a review of the Tokes Titanium 750 meter liter pot. G-Bolt on the trail.